Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded. Uh, I'm doing my SpaceX K2 and looks like my stream information's not working. Uh, <laughs> I might turn it back on. Docs, stream information. Yeah, okay. So last time I was designing a new spaceship, it's, uh, it's a bit ugly, uh, to put it blank. Blankly, <laughs> it's, it's really bad. This is it here. Um, this is my previous design, the uh, Cuckoo version 7 with um, logistics and robot stuff. Um, this is the new version that I was trying out um, just to see if I can get much smaller. So the difference is 710 mass versus 785, 782. It's only like 72 less size. So I don't know if it's worth bothering. Um, I did some other changes as well, but I might just leave this one as a as a one-off. Um, I was trying to do uh, stone cores here, but uh, I think we have plenty of stone cores in the ground. Seeing up stoner on Nervous. That one's dropping down here. Is this stone? Is that coal? That's the coal. Uh, stone was... Actually, do we even have a stone? Did I not set that up? I think that's it there. Yeah, that's the core fragment stone. For some reason it's not dropped down the ground. Hey computer addict. Uh yeah, I've got I've got no no control over the, the pre row ads. That's just uh, I think that's anyone who streams now just box one of your affiliate. I think I get like one cent of ad revenue from from them or so. <laughs> it's it's basically nothing. I mean I think I've made zero dollars from streaming after four years. So I'm definitely not in it for the money. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to design his ship. Uh, yeah, so what, what I find with the pre-roll is I just mute the audio as soon as that comes on and I go go get a drink and I come back and un unmute it. But it's actually a good trick to force yourself to get out of your, out of your chair. Um, but that's what I do. I don't know what other people do. Uh, otherwise I just leave it muted and go to do something else on my computer and then I remember oh yeah I'm watching a stream and I'm like oh yeah and I go back tear back to it I'm like oh yeah that was like half an hour ago all right I'm also start watching now <laughs> oh, so sad we're, we're so programmed for uh for free it's hard to like creep in the non-free but you know, the ads aren't too bad just it's, it's just annoying that they're quite limited um it's always the same ad over and over again. Uh, it's like it's like a variation of like three ads or something. I'm like, that's all there is. Like basically because the advertisers have not from your own country hooked into Twitch, so the amount of rotation of ads is basically it's the same ad over and over, and it's quite annoying. I mean, I don't mind about different ads. It might be they should might come across a product I like, but uh, no, you don't get ads that I'm actually going to use. So it's like, well, this is a bit of a waste of time. I'm not sure about that. So anyway, this is my uh, new ship. <clears throat> this is my new hauler I was trying to design. It's the, it's this one, but I tried to try to move the engine. I I, I saw another person link on my channel. Uh, I'm too tired. They linked their one. Um. Uh, they put it left and right. And how's it going, old Hassar? Let's do 1am on Monday there, I'm guessing. It's because it's 6.38pm on Monday here. Why isn't it emptying out these... Ah, oh, the wrong way around. I was wondering why these weren't emptying. There we go. Okay, that's sorted. Oh, um, Computer Addict, I found a new thing. A new logic. Um, I thought I'd share with you. So, normally with uh, my RoboPorts, I use uh, the actual row port itself to signal, you know, available construction bots to enter. 
but I realized you can actually just use the A signal. And I totally didn't realize this, so I'm just do A signal connection. And then it won't insert the robots into here unless it's actually at, you know, you know, not A. So, oh, I was like, oh, it's quite, I was quite chuffed with that discovery. Um, so let's do a rewind to here, for instance. And this, this will now read uh, the A signal is five. So basically, um, A doesn't equal five. There's one of the conditions for uh, loading it in. And the opposite one, you can do a purple ex export chest where A equals five. So anything in here gets emptied out when you arrive at Nalus. You don't sit around with heaps of these uh, construction robots. But I find that uh, it does not doesn't quite work 100% because uh, when I do A does not equal 5, which is you know anywhere besides Navis orbit, uh, it would jump back and forwards as though it's got a false delay on the trigger, which is a bit annoying. So it will just uh, like this thing here. I quite often see it as A does not equal 5. For some reason, it should like mean it doesn't launch but it'll jump back and forth two or three times because this will be uh, over the limit and this is like in between because it's reading it so when it lands it's not instantly five so I think that's more of a uh, SpaceX lag or something like technically does equal five should mean it stays put it should not launch it should not give this green tick and there will launch signal and by the way I copied this from uh, live action pixels and um I think your design's better, but I like this only because it means if I muck it up, I can, I can control the uh, launching. On launch day, all common has resets, resets are blank. Network conditions don't transfer between sources. Yeah, but when it lands, it should get the signal of five, right? It should read that signal to there and get A does equal five, so. See you later, old Hussa. Thanks for popping in. <clears throat> Looks like my uh, stone core got got a delivery. Just good. So I applied your uh, computer. Out. I applied your engines to uh, this ship, and I forgot to remove the old. Uh, Animator, so I've actually got shit tons of fuel on the ship now. It's like a epic utility ship. Now I was probably designing like a utility ship like this that just powers uh, the coal miners because technically this can power <laughs> yeah antimatter for days. That's for sure. Um, I think it's it's five hundred thousand antimatter. It's only got one refuel tank, but uh, yeah, I should have got rid of these three, but it doesn't really matter. I sort of call this my Tron ship. I was probably designing an M an M Tron, so the idea of the M Tron. Oh, what was that? What the hell? That was weird. Um, just do a cut and paste. It's going to do the M Tron. It's going to be this. So I was thinking of doing a ship like that. I'm not sure how good it will fly, but I won't need the second um, power source. This is the one power source still. Then I get all the space on the left hand side to, um, I don't know, put some factories or something. I don't know. I reckon it'll go real fast. That's more like a uh, an M logo spaceship rather than a, an actual functional spaceship. But yeah, as you, as you can see, I've got some uh, UPS back. Not C2, not the best in the world, but um, it's better than it was. And I think my analysis is bugged because it said that there was no biters left, but there definitely is. <clears throat> so I sent my uh, beams back and they're flying around somewhere doing, doing the holy work, beaming chaos from above. Well, that's doing more than it did before. That's, that's dropping a Temperature. Oh, that's quite good. 
Yeah, I think those remote ones are quite sad anyway. They were only beaming at like 5 to 10% effectiveness, so they were a bit of a waste of time for the CPU cycles. Anyway, I was, I was supposed to uh, start doing cores on my original planets, but I realized I need to fix up my um, spaceships for um, asteroid science and solar science and the other one um, interstellar science because I think most people move to spaceships for them and I never did that and I think that's much smarter so I've got this uh, I've got this weird setup with these to use rockets I use um, all this logic here and I drop ship this down to Navis ground and Navis ground decides uh, when to send it to the individual places but it's a bit clanky, and I kind of think uh, it's time to migrate away from this. I was trying to think whether I go to three spaceships to do it, or whether I do a rocket drop combination. But I think this is a spaceship. So you can just fly to uh, the asteroid orbit, and that'd be fine. I mean, I could do an antimatter version, or I can do an iron drive. I mean, the iron one, I've done, I've already done an iron drive version of my cuckoo. This place is the same as that, uh, but this is actually the wrong tank now. I think they added uh, these tanks afterwards. So I was supposed to put these tanks on the ship. They're very small. Very small ship. These very small, these, engine, these tanks. So this, this actually won't work. I think it worked for like one patch and then they changed it. Oh yeah, it used to work because it didn't have a launch cost. So now I can't launch because of the storage tank. It should not launch, right, in theory. It says, uh... Yeah, i got no booster tank, so I can't launch. But yeah, this used to launch with the, before the booster tank change. This ship doesn't work. I wish it, um... Get all this iron goodie out so we've been up to a computer addict you've been um, playing uh, any factory or other games unplug that What are we up to? Well, that's looking alright. Yeah, so we'll just drain the... Uh... Oh, congrats on the job! Awesome! I know how you, you, you said you're unemployed for ages, so that, that wasn't good. That's really awesome you got a job. Get the old routines back. All right, I'm gonna drain this iron steam. Oh wait, what's what's down here? Oh, that's no, okay. It might back drain the pipes. Gave up on what I'd been looking for and took retail management. Oh yeah. Well, you can use it as a platform, I guess, to uh. <coughs> <coughs> To be motivated to um, apply for another job so after a few months doing this uh, apply for what you want again it's, I know their employers look more favor favorably on people who already got a job to get another job the whole poaching thing uh, is uh, is very real it's not draining out that one I might have to get a uh, I was even pondering getting a job, and I've been working the same job for uh, 15 years. I mean, I changed title, but it's basically the same job. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly uh, that motivated. Might cut off this pipe as well. Oh no, that'd be fine.
Where's he getting all this? Okay, we've got plenty of spare uh, iron steam. We should be good. So I should drain this out, and then I can make this the uh, the new hauler. It's kind of, I think it's a bit big actually. This this is actually 44 of them. It's a lot, and it is uh, 1443. So the container stress used to be a lot less. So the size of the ship wasn't that bad, but since they changed it, oh, that's not my Nequidite haulers are quite um, container stress heavy. If I could find a job I liked at a company that didn't go under, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't change jobs, but dot dot dot. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> I pretty much joined a company that's been around for a hundred years, so... And I do like one of the lowest paid jobs at the company. But I do a, I do a good job of it. <laughs> You'd hope so. I hope so. Alright, we got... Why isn't it draining that? 14k, why isn't it going down? Do I care? I'm probably going to leave it, but I, might, I really want to drain it. Drain it. So anyway, the, um, based on my understanding of how the markets work, um, since the mid-1970s until now, We've been in a capital market, so that means that wages have gone uh, zero or negative, while capital has got all the money. And so that for the next pretty much 40 years or 30 years of our lives, uh, we should be in a wage market, which means that wages are going to go up faster than capital goes up, which means people are going to get heaps of money working jobs instead of uh, playing around the stock market. So uh, anyone who's got any uh, IT skills, it's going to get soaked into an IT job because there's so much demand in the world for uh, ICT workers. I, mean, I don't, I don't work in IC, I, I, IT. I used to, like, 20 years ago, but uh, that was just an admin job. But yeah, the world is changing. There's a huge scarcity of tech, um, skilled, skilled workers in the right fields. The problem is like actually getting the training. Uh, Without money, I mean that's. I mean, how many, if you get trained up in like six months, that'd be great. I don't like the idea of like doing two years of study or something. That's just that sounds like death to me. I think it's going over this way. Why is that filling? It should be drained this properly, but it's not. I don't get it. I think if I stick with this company, I'm going to wind up. In their corporate tech department in 10 to 20 years. Well, I guess you, uh, you better hop ship then, eh? Once you get a little bit. I think I'm just going to dump this iron. It's just such, such a waste. I'm such a resource hoarder. I don't need it. I mean, I got, I got resources. I don't need this stuff. This is my attempt at doing, uh, this is my first attempt at doing a, a Finestra jump ship, and it was very really bad. I think I had the right idea, but it didn't quite work out. I've already identified a bug in its reproduction conditions in the POS software in the week and a half I've been there, lol. Well, make sure you don't give it to your boss to get all the credit. That's the problem. Gotta get acknowledged for that stuff, eh? Productivity is, should be, uh, they should pay for that stuff. I don't get this, why isn't it? I need another pump. This is a bit weird, I don't understand why is it not, uh, drain this out. Why is it staying at 8k? I could have add another pump. somewhere else, but what's this other part? This is the liquid rocket fuel. Not sure about that. None of us making this out of thin air. Where's this all coming from? Coming from those tanks. This is still not going down. 
I'm gonna have to get like uh, some serious, serious uh, pipes. Let's get this all done. I think it's the way that the pumping works in this game. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. This should now pump it all. All these will drain because of this one pump. I mean, it's only draining in like 500 a second. But once, I guess once all these drained out, it will then suddenly magically pull this. I think it's struggling to pull this out through this pipe. This is going at 23 out of 100. It's a weird uh, factory logic. What's that ship jumping around? One of my Naquitite ships. I know they've got faulty logic on still. I jump like two or three times before they uh, stop. But I know with the A signal it stops it, so... Um, so my understanding of uh, computer, lo computer addict is your logic is the best logic, but that's assuming that the Factorio devs and the EC devs have got the best logic. But there's delays, as you say, on launch and all common as reset to blank. So... It gets an instant launch signal again, which is, I don't understand why that happens every time. Ah, oh, this is so slow. 234 a second, like why I can't just drain it? Like, I just want to drain this. I mean, what's the number I cut off? Oh, hey, Head Slayer. Yeah, this is actually um, a good FPS. I was down at uh, about 20 uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll show you my Nervous. I'll show you my nervous. This is this is why my uh, FPS was so uh, awful. So this is like the the it's basically like a um, a cataractic eyes. Uh, I'm trying to wipe out the biters. They're still here. My game said the biters are gone, but no, they're still like pissing around my like farting on my planet. They're just doing their thing. I mean these auto nukes. Like, what sort of shitty bad targeting is that? Why don't they target the middle of this patch? Like, why are they... Oh, whatever. Yeah, so I'm slowly wiping the biters out. I haven't done this, uh... Trim thing you told me about. I'm making this passive. Because then I can save so much file size. If I can trim this whole planet down. Because I don't use any resources here. There's no mining of any resources on this planet besides... A little bit of oil here. And some mineral oil there. Everything else... Is, uh, core mining. I'm really mad about it still. Yeah, I'd be mad too. So this is my uh, core mining rocket dropship. So I was copying your thing where I got two core miners per core. Um, it seems we're working out quite well besides the amount of robots I got. There's a lot of robots flying around. Because they, uh, they pull the cores off and dump them elsewhere because there's not enough chests here. So I might have to Increase the number of uh, buffer chests to match the amount of ore I expect. So I expect uh, 10,000 buffer. So probably 10 of these chests because they're only increasing a thousand. I could increase. I could, could increase these chests to 4,000. That'd be fine. Then that'll be that was all the requests are going to these. Give me my cores. Yeah, you'll have to scan it, cleanse it, plague it, then trim it. Yeah, there's a keyboard command. Um, uh, slash c game dot player dot service dot peaceful mode equals true. So I'd peaceful mode now this, and uh, then just be done with the biters here and trim this down. Because the biters are never going to wipe them by my base out. It's just a pointless mechanic at this point. I mean, they're not going to create some sort of mega biter in this Factorio mod of SpaceX. I mean, they might create like, like, uh, if they create the army of robots in the future, there might be a point. I mean, if they add, if they do it in the future, then sure, I can add it back in. That seems a bit, that seems a bit pointless at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm curious how much I'll gain as well. Cause, um, I used to have, uh, I got these solar orbits. Um, 
every single solar orbit in my game has got uh, energy beaming. So every single one of these was targeting Narvis with laser beams. And they all stopped yesterday. Every single one, all 27 of these star systems beaming lasers at Narvis stopped. They said, there's no biters to find. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. How come we know biters to find? And I looked on the bloody planet and there's still biters there. It's like the game bugged out and it dis disabled all my laser beaming. And I was like, I can't be bothered to turn them all back on. So now that it's sit around doing nothing on every single star system. I mean, this is just a, this is a three gigawatt energy beam. And it's every single star system has got one of these. And, uh, it's, it just sucks that they turned off. I mean, like, why can't they go? Like, this is, look, it's still got Nervous targeted. But it turned itself off. It's just dumb. And there we go. Look, it's back on the game. But i got to go there. And I, uh, I start doing a print. This is what I found as fun. I got this print I started making. Um, let's add a sync bar tile. Um, and the idea of the print was to do the star signal. So every single uh, location in uh, this mod pack has got uh, an A signal, which is the location you're at. So this one here has got 473, is uh, the, the star signal. So I set this into the combinator and sent it to the signal transmitter 473, and the docking clamp receives it as well. So every single star orbit has got that. And I beamed every single one up to my listening device array, which is just up here. These things. So they all receive individual signals for every single star. And the whole point of that was just to junk all the shit I'd sent from my rockets. Because I'd, I'd sent rockets to build that stuff, and it left a whole lot of junk behind. I was like, well, I want to trash that junk. So I created a ship that just goes out and collects junk. Because I want to get my UPS back and I need to destroy items. It's like, I could have just like energy, energy beamed the chest or something. But I was like, well then I have to rebuild it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to build a Junker ship. So I've got this little ship called the Junker. And all it does is it flies around with its little satellite dish. And uh, it picks up crap. It picks shit up. Um, and it's just arrived. So it should pick up anything in this chest if it's done right. But it's not. Okay, it's not working. Oh no, this is... is that hooked up right? Oh, it's a red signal, yeah. So some of them don't work, so I haven't um, reconfigured them, but... This is a... Uh, that's a secret ending uh, thing, so I won't talk more about that, but... Uh, these ones are not set up pro properly. The normal star systems do, though. So this is why... Yeah, spaceships are so good, man. I mean, my spaceships look awful, like... Like, this, this shit is a, this is a nuclear reactor, this is the engine array, this is defenses, and this is all the logics. This is some storage chests, and they got some robot port logic going on, and a couple of storages. But it's so cool trying to figure out things on it, because uh, I'm still learning. Well, I, I could technically go away from nuclear. Um, I just do it because I'm cheap. I could go to antimatter. But then I wouldn't use the, all the fuel because uh, I want I want to put on the the gigabit uh, or giga, gigawatt power reactor. I, wanna, I just want to use these shitty little uh, condenser turbines going at 10 megawatts each. So this spaceship's only 60 megawatts, and that's it. And it's my steam battery right there. So I do have a steam battery. Um, I've got one little uh, logic here checking, converting the water and steam into a signal. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Steam is Steam is definitely the way to go. But I was like, uh, there's like, there's my, there's my, uh, I don't know, this is my Vulcan Vulcanite planet, and I, I, uh, I'm gonna, I think it's my third planet. So all my planets are like this. You've seen it. I've I've shown you this before. Um. I was actually going to fly somewhere else, but I can't remember whereabouts I was going to go. I was going to check out some more temples. I 
might go to uh, go to Finistra. New SpaceX patch, all steam losers, temp over time, and so evaporates in storage. I can see it now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, like, uh, even this this ship, this is with the um, the high temp turbine and the antimatter reactor. Uh, this still stores the steam. It still stores steam, um, and it's kind of like you get out of jail free car because. Uh, if you muck this up, what will happen is it will jam because you have too much water. And so this can't output water anymore by condensing it. And so what happens is you get no power. So the good thing is if you do a buffer on both ends, water and steam, you can always just evap, just destroy the flush, the water, and then your ship can carry on because it's still got the steam buffer to fly home. But yeah, if you, if you leave your ship in the middle of nowhere, it is just screwed, eh? Like, it's just... It's just awful. But yeah, they do take a lot, lot of uh, space. They, uh, I've got, this ship is uh, 1100, 1100 stress, right? So that's like, uh, I think factory spaceships are thousand. So it's like factory spaceship two, I think, to be able to build this ship. I mean, I could string it down to like under a thousand, I think. Let's remove a few chests and a few tiles. This indent in here is something on both sides, and that'll be under a thousand. Um. Um. You don't really need landing pads. You just put a docking clamp to uh, dock. So this is the logic part of it. So there's a you can you got the docking clamp number, and you got docking clamp signal part. So you can connect the signal and you can connect the docking clamp. So you can do stuff with that, and you have another docking clamp, of course, for your docking. So you can do logics. I mean, this is one of my earlier ships that doesn't have logic. All it's got is a docking and a speed. There is no logic on the ship. Yeah, but what if I want stuff mid trail? I want to trail forever. Ha! <laughs> um, you can um, board another spaceship. So, you could, uh, I mean, I'll stop the ship for now, and, uh, is it, is it stop moving? I'm still, I'm slowing down. I gotta wait till it gets slow enough. I think I can put down, um, some spaceship floors, though. So, if I got some on me, I think I'd normally carry some. Here we go. Yeah, so I think you can put these down in the middle of space and then put a landing pad here. So I could just do it manually. So that's this. Oh no, it doesn't work. Damn it, it used to work. Ah. Oh. What about spaceship floors? Got these ones. So I do carry around a, uh, I love that I, I carry around a rocket silo, a landing pad. Um, ah, oh, it's slightly too big. I got an idea. Let's go, let's go harvest the ship. No one mind. enough. Ah, it's still too small. Uh, is alright? No, I went this far. I'm not building spaceship floor, yeah, so you can't build that. I gotta say, this looks cool though, my spaceship's like a total busted ass ship now, but um... That's fine. We can fix it up. 
But um, the one one part about the exploration is you can explore rockets. So um, I, I actually historically explored rockets um, around the stars. I didn't. I just what I do is I launch myself at the star. I'd land on the nearest planet, and then I'd send a rocket with all the fuel I need and all the parts I need to build another rocket, and then go to the next next star system and go to that planet. And so I, I explored around quite a few places like that. And it was quite fun. Um, at least I had fun. So when I look at this map, I uh, and this is where I started. So I jumped. I I went um. Like to Argus, for instance, and uh, I can't remember what planet I went on, but I must have gone to Arislan. Why have I got that surface there? What the hell is this? Why is it like that? That should be deleted, right? That game's like having a hernia trying to regenerate it. But I, I was here once upon a time. I think my um my landing pad and stuff were destroyed. But the best part to look at is to look at the uh where I've been. So there's some like old places with uh Where is it? Um Those are my new places. Osses? Yeah, so this is this is what happens when you... Um, I've been here, right? I, I landed here. I set up stuff. And long ago, I left. The problem is I can't abandon this planet. So it's literally just covered in biters now. And it's generating like UPS, I suspect. So I probably should come here and destroy this. I tried... um energy beam destroying it, but apparently the radar construction pylon is immune to energy beams. So I couldn't even destroy it. I tried. I like this I fired my laser at it and this this wouldn't die. I was most disappointed. So if I go to uh what star system was that? T Magus, right? So I look at T Magus. I got a beamer. Oh, that's, that's Power and Crystal Collective. Okay, I won't use that one. I'll use the neighbor one. Who's Calamity? So this is going to go to Ossus. Do I put on. I just put that in autoglave, but I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to show um, if I can destroy this. Um, it's kind of fiddly. I tried doing it before, but it didn't really work how I thought it would work. So I went here and let's do glaive. And I choose the coordinates and I choose my base. It should just go there, right? It should just beam. What's it die? It's not moving, right? It's just it's getting like an error sound. Why? What's wrong with that? Uh, control in, control in, control in. Try again. Over right here. Gonna move? Oh, it's moving this time. Quite slow though. Um, you can just turn it off and teleport it, I think. Thanks, Pop again here, sir. Um, enjoyed your stream earlier today. You got some good progress. You can do tier two uh, sciences. You're actually getting to the. This is where the good stuff happens. I'm not going to zap this space. I don't think they patched it. I don't think they've patched it. I think this thing's going to survive. Laser beams are imminent. They will come. 
They will die. Call the world! Hmm. It's coming. I mean, it's funny that the you can see the border of the um, K2 creep generation because this is the edge of the radar. This magical box where nothing outside of that gets generated. Let's see if this thing dies again. It didn't die last time. No, nope, still invulnerable. So dumb. So I can't delete the surface unless I land there. Um, which is a bit frustrating. I could, I could like pod land there, but then I'm gonna land my spaceship and wipe. I kill the butters without dying, and then launch my spaceship again. I can like do on a deconstruction planner. I mean, this thing here is might. It might work if I uh, move it. Looks like it might slowly kill these things. Just centralize it, right? I just try everything except for like these big items, like this thing here, the landing pad. Put up a plague rocket. Yeah, I could do. What have I got one on me? No, I don't. Okay, I gotta go to Navis. Let's go pick up some play rockets. Engage the engines! I'm gonna kill some butters. I hate having this death, death thing though. I might go turn that uh, beam off. I'm not hearing death. Oh, what's this? This is my, um... Oh yeah, I was going to fix this, wasn't I? I thought that was correctly set up. This is my junker, right? It's supposed to, um... Oh, I've got to... Did you update game? Um, yeah, I'm 100% today. So it should be, uh, okay. Alright, I'm going to turn this to Navis. Cinemative. Uh, Autoglave. Thanks for the follow, Cinemative. Happy days to you. I'm going to, um... Plague rocket, my old planet. I'm not sure the biters burn in a fire of death. Um, I think in a brief chat. Oh, it's in someone else's stream though. Unless he popped in here as I was leaving. Oh yeah, I was a. Uh, Elhams, wasn't it? The Elham stream this morning. Yeah, so we had totally different time zones. So um, it was like uh, seven a.m. my time, but yeah, the opposite time of your zone. And you're saying, hey, you're getting into the um, deep spaces. You into good stuff. You can fire play rockets at your old bases remotely from then delete the services after the butters destroy the main moves. What? How can you fire the play rockets remotely? I don't know how you do that. I thought the play rockets uh with my rocket launcher. Uh I should try actually, I'll go check my weapon delivery. A filter. So we can. Ah, oh. so I just need one of these in uh, orbit then. 
But can it fire like across the into multiple star systems? Like, what what's the range of this thing? Like, surely the energy jewels won't be enough, right? I guess it's got this got ten thousand mega jewels, so it does have a bigger range. The normal the normal ones only got um dot every can's only got a thousand. It's got should have ten times the range. So you can literally see the planet with a with a spidertron to murder them. I think it only fire in your solar system. Well what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh Paste this up here and uh, get some crystal logic. Don't we make these uh, weapon deliveries up here? Yeah, I could do the whole cargo rocket, Spidertron play rocket. That sounds fun. That's gonna take a little bit of work to plan though. I don't think I'll make the weapons delivery capture up here, so I have to craft that as well. That's alright. Things to try to murder the biters, as you do. Uh, first off, I'm going to try the weapons delivery capture. So this should be easy enough to craft. A little bit low on big electric motors, but uh, we should be good otherwise. I didn't realize I needed uh, the, those two techs. These are three of the different techs. These beryl, iridium, and uh, holmium. We only want one. Oh, why are they that? That should be the, um, the old print. Okay. So I do have Spidertrons on me, um, I'm going to swap off my ship and deploy my Spidertron, so... You reckon just doing a, just a dumb Spidertron with one uh, DT cell and a Plague Rocket would work. I've got the Plague Rockets, right? So put the Plague Rockets in there. I don't need two. I just need one, right? So it's a Z... Uh, hey, where'd it go? Hey, why is it on the ground? Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Uh, put one in there. Let's split it. Yeah. Cool. That's the play rocket. We just need a power source, which is the... We're going to just use the uranium fuel cell, to be honest. Um, the D2 fuel cells... They're a lot better, but... Um, they're more fiddly to make. So... We need is a Iranian fuel cell. I don't know whether I quest them. Uranium. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. So we want uh, ten. Be curious. Hope it doesn't radiate me. It says we got fifteen hundred. So we got heaps. I might as well make the rocket while I'm here. Oh, we've already got the delivery capsule, so let's change the thing. Okay, I am getting irradiated, but that's fine. Um Where's the capsule gone? There. There we go, and we'll just turn this back off. Cool. Ah, oh, that's not good. I wonder what that was. They had a crash for ages. There's barrel, uh. crap. Okay, so that's the. Spidertron. So, we can just put this in the rocket, right? 
How do I put it? I just pick it up and put it in the rocket? Or does it lose its thing? Yeah, it loses its thing, doesn't it, when I do that? How do I... Am I going to do a spaceship instead? Hmm. How do you put it inside? Why is, that going, why is this one green? So this is the... I could... Ah, oh, he doesn't... They can't take the RTGs, that's right. So I want to do an RTG, um... Spartatron, but I don't think he can. Um, I carry around RTGs on me, but... Um... I can't even see where they are. Can't search very well. Need those. Oh my god, they work! These didn't used to work. Has that got power now? So there's no power still. Why is it not working? That's another oh, electricity's going up. Oh, they do work. Oh my god, that's so good. So if I got the RTG, I don't need the fuel. So I can take all this shit off. And it'll be fine. Then this can have the um the plague rocket. And it's got this. And that should be fine, right? What a target without gun Yeah, 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 without gunner. So this should uh I say there's no power single symbol, symbol though, but I know it's charging up the energy here, so and there's a way to get this uh how to get the uh, I get the Spidertron remote. This thing. Actually gotta craft it? Like really? Can I get it for free? Yeah. Not for free, man. How do you how do you even use these things? Okay, so that's not working. It's not, it's not moving, it's not moving. It might uh it might better fire the rocket though when it's charged up. I don't know. It's given the no power signal though, so I suspect, I suspect it says it needs this fuel, which means I can't... How do I give it fuel when the rocket crashes? Is that possible? Otherwise I'll just do this for the play rocket, right? So we're targeting Ossus. Uh, is it Ossus? I thought it was Ossus. O S. I... Here's Ossus. Yeah, so we're going to take it Ossus. And... Why is that not, uh... I gave it a target. One matching location in the location in system. Okay, so I can't do it. It's too far. Damn, out of range. So, can I put these on a spaceship though? Can I like put this on a spaceship? Can I like do an orbital drop? Like a plague ship? Get room there. These things are big. Oh, I can! They can go on spaceship tiles. So I can literally fly this spaceship into this into the star system and then kill every single planet of fighters. Like wipe out everything. Every single planet. Just wipe them all out. You, you mean you might have to send like 20 play rockets. <laughs> but you could do it. You just need a do this, right? And just have 20 of these. I do need the weapons to recapture though, which is kind of a bit more expensive, but powering it might be the problem, but the spaceship should have enough power anyway to charge it up. So you need a uh, delivery weapons capsule. 
which is all that. I can just carry that though. Let's bring 20 of them with me and 20 play rockets. Don't have enough play rockets to be honest. Um, I haven't really been making them. I sort of told them to make me like two and I was sitting, sitting around here. Where are they? I thought it was there. There's four in there and then there's two there. So I might change this number. We want less rookie numbers. We want 20 play rocket stacks. Um, upgrade that a couple of times. Yeah, because it needs a lot of that significant biomass. So this is going to be fun actually. I can claim back my planets uh, with remote uh, plague, plague rockets. I mean, I could just drop down the ground myself, but it's just more fun doing a remote control. I mean, I can literally just automate. Uh, I mean, how do I do it? Automate launch? I don't think I can do that, but I'd have to. I can automate send it to its star system and then, like, give me a signal or something. Are you ready? Yes. I mean, I could, I could do the alert thing, but I've already got alerts everywhere. Which is, doesn't means it doesn't work. Could do an alarm sound that plays everywhere. About a thousand biocides, a thousand chemical drill. There's a 10 extended uh, barge of catalogs. A little bit expensive, but actually the significant biomass is quite a lot. Yeah, we don't even mention that. These things are... It'll take a while to make. I'm sure my... Uh, This is assuming that the biters actually attack the zero pollution balloons when they grow by play, of course. Yeah. They do have they do have to wipe out that one radar tower. I got nine play rockets though. Um so I can't do this version. I pick up this. I pick up the play rocket. Mm. It sucks. We... I could add a play rocket to this ship actually. Let's try it out. We'll do a manual version. I need to, I need to um... I need a weapons delivery capsule. Make a few of them. And we'll give it some speed. Craft a bit faster, right? We don't really need many of them. I think it's only set to one. Yeah. Um, this thing should be set to more than one. It's on seven. I think, uh, 20. And upgrade these a few times. So that doesn't work. Get rid of that. This process involves manual service deletion, so no need to automate it too heavily. Yeah, it's, it's more, the, it's just more the fun aspect of it. Uh, it just seems more amusing, like, you're playing this factory game of uh, an impediment to your progress as an artificial constraint is the biters. Like, the only thing that's slowing you down in this game is the biters, really. Nothing else really stops you. And you, like, automate destroying the biters. It's like, you automate your wall of limitation removal. Which is, I like the idea of that. Hey, why not make more? I want 20. We don't have enough, uh, oh, we've got plenty of iridium plate up here now. Why is there no heat shielding though? Oh, we'll take the two capsules. Uh, we don't need that. Let's go build the tiles in the ship. I always knew a reason why I had room on this ship. The Tron ship is going to be a mess by the middle. So, probably put it there. Put them to the side. 
Like there's a bit of that. Alright, that'll do. Um, buy a rocket and capture. So, weapons to the recapture. Alright. Five. And flag rocket. Alright, five. That's alright, just need a. Have a tiger when we get there. It's so funny having this bloody sh ginormous cannon sticking out of the spaceship, though. All the mass changes. Uh, we only gained like 150 mass. <laughs> the sci fi weapons. Yeah. I think there's like, there's quite a few like, uh, anime or whatever where you have like one mech, like a big beastie gun. And it's like a big thing in like even World War II, like, uh, the Germans did like the artillery, big Bertha, the stupid, stupid train artillery from World War One. they decided to, to build in World War II. It was so like, dumb, but that I just wanted to have this big thing. And then they built the battleships as well, there's a big platform of guns, it's like, I think politicians are just obsessed with uh, having a big thing to show off. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's all PR, but it goes a bit wrong. Because whoever builds the biggest thing in the end ends up being the loser. Because you waste so many resources building this behemoth of a thing. Alright, so we got uh, four canyons. <laughs> oh. It gave me the uh, auto mod there. <laughs> Added permitted term Hitler. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't like dictators, no. I mean, it's just a word. I mean, I think uh, most, uh, most jokes, uh, uh, ended or most conversations at the end of we bring up anything to do with World War Two and that sort of thing. So it's usually like a conversation killer. But yeah, super weapons is definitely a um, it's a failure. Usually, well, I got twelve play rockets. This is a bit ridiculous. Well, they go twelve here then, right? Ah oh, man. Alright. Goblins or all internet discussions end with the mention of World War II Germany. Yeah. Potentially. Maybe I'll craft this thing first so we got ready. These are uh, blue inserters. Uh, I don't even have any blue inserters. I think the green. Oh, and insert all of them. That's a bit. Oh no, it's gonna have too many of them though. No, I don't want all of them. So it's gonna put too many in there and it will. Uh, I think it buffers them, so. I think I should change this to one. So I can control it a little bit. Once it's crafted, I'll, I'll just start launching. I think uh, the power draw on that is not too big. Don't seem to much. Uh... Okay, we're going to Ossus, so. What star system is that in? Ossus. I think it's T Magus. Yeah, T Magus. So.
We're gonna go for Timigus Astro Belt 1 as the goal. See if that's close enough. I could go to a close up location, but I think they'll be fine. Engage the engines. I'm German, tell me about it. Uh, I think uh, society's got obsessed with the past days. Eh? It looks back too much. I think the future's more of a. Like, Everyone's scared of the future, everyone's scared of the past. I mean, if you talk about the future, everyone's like, climate change, it's gonna kill us, and then, uh, there's gonna be wars, there's famines, we're gonna have, like, no water, drinking water, we're gonna have no, no food, no fish. It's very really doomy gloomy. And then you look at the past, it's like, all these evil people running the world and doing evil things. It's like, well, there's evil people right now, but no one talks about them. Because you can't talk about evil things. <laughs> Anything evil gets banned. That's the way it is. I'm not allowed to talk about evil. Yeah, we're all on vacation. We're in lockdown, lo lockdown vacation. Ten minutes! Ah, oh, nah. We're going to Finistra. A bit faster. Got quite, quite excited about this, this remote uh, plague rocket. I don't have to actually land on the planet. But it's a much better delivery payload, because if I have to land there, I would definitely die. I mean, if I could use the rope, the Spidertron, that would be fine, but uh, it doesn't seem to work. So, well, I've actually done play rockets on uh, three planets now. I've been doing it on my home system. They're very small moons, though. So I did a play rocket on Radaman, Umatrude, and oh, I thought there was a third one, but maybe it was only those two. Maybe Gobnu. No, Gobnu's fine. There's no biters there. Oh, the threat's gone to zero. That's cool. So once you do play rocket, the threat stays at zero. So it must it must change the actual code. Yeah. So uh, when I was setting up core mining, this is the core mining setup. Um. That. There's no temp here. Oh, weird. Um. I did it after uh, after uh. uh I've got all the updates. I did, I did it like two days ago. Basically this is the core mining setup, this is it. So all it is is energy beam. Uh, receives power. I have a landing pad to drop in uh, the initial buildings, but I actually don't need to keep this. Um, I guess though, but I did want to drop in emergency items, I could. I guess technically I've got some robots left over, which I didn't set up correctly. Is that enough? Um, the core miners here do 3.4 seconds, so it's like about 13 cores a second. And this is just coal. So just going about its business, that's it. Power usage is basically nothing. I mean, I could put down another. Uh, I can go to 16 core miners here and it'll be fine. So this is currently at uh, like equivalent of 2x. So I can go to 4x with another 12 core miners. So I could double the output uh, with 12 more cores. So I could go to 20, 26 cores in a second, which I think is a bit overkill for coal. I mean, I could go to uh, coal as a primary power source, I guess, if I use the oil conversion, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, so I, I, I had two thoughts of that. Um, I've just gone to the, the nearest one of my star system. So rather than fly a long way away, I've just gone to whatever one's got the core, because because I'm doing the K2 mod, there's not, there's not more variance in cores, there's 16 cores, whereas in the normal EC there's uh, 
I think it's 12 or 11 or something. Some, it's a lower number. So you'd have like more vari variation in, in the planets. Like multiple times you'd have the same core. Whereas my one is get like rare metal core. I don't want rare metals. It's a waste of time. But uh, so yeah, so on this like this one here, this is a, a 29 radius, 2900 radius moon. And I think that's a that's big enough. My 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 theo on it is about two thousand radius. Is about is about big enough. Unless you if you go to like I've done I've got a burial planet at uh four nineteen. Uh, and it's getting basically nothing at all. Um, that's planet Zandra. This one is this is my first one I tried out on. And so this is getting at point four a second times four. So that's only 1.6 cores a second. It's basically nothing, but because my barrel is so efficient, I don't even use it. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I could, I could double this with another 12 core miners, and I put down the energy beaming. But yeah, I don't even use the 1.6 cores a second of uh, barrel. So on my home planet, on Navis. Who's now this? Oh, right there. Um, all the cores for that go into these two for processing, and then they go into this. So I think they, at one point, they had I had enough, but I don't know if I still got enough. I still got lots of cores left over. But yes, it does scale with the planet size. So. Um, the way I figured it out is that when you put four cores down, each core gets the planet size divided by a thousand a second. So basically, with four cores, I get one point six a second, which is uh, point four times four, right? And the radius is four hundred. So I'm getting 400 divided by uh, 1,000, this point for a second. And that's with four cores though. So if I had one core, uh, it'd, be, it'd be half, it'd be twice that. It'd be getting point 0.8 a second. So it's like the radius divided by 500 is the actual math on the amount you get per second. If you've got one core. So the best you can get in the 10,000 size radius will be 20 a second from one core miner. And so if you had, if you had 16 core miners, you would have 80 a second, because that's 4x, 4x at 16 and 3x at uh, 9 and 2x at 4. So your best planet you can get with 16 cores is 80 a second. Which is not that that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, my home planet here. I've only got four core miners on now. This. Um. Where is it? I've got these four going here. So this this planet is uh it's getting five point six a second right on now. This. For these four, I think it's a five point six hundred radius. Five six nine two. So. 72 miners in my home. Oh my god. Wow. That's a lot of cores. Well, the thing is, I, I, I use in the K2 mod though, because um, I went to uh, uh, Meta production on others, so um, I got these little uh, wood to Meta producers. So I just turned basically water and power into wood and matter. And this just goes over and over again. And I've got multiple of these. So that's producing all my leftover resources that I don't have. So you can see on the map here is like all that is uh, matter production. And say so that's cheating. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so currently I use the core as the primary, and then matter is the, um, it only goes if there's not enough, uh, 
base resource so I've turned them all like these matters are going right now because it's, I'm actually consuming the copper faster but the matters only turn on if uh, this doesn't go through and the only reason is because the cores are a fixed ratio so it's an, an impossibility to balance it um, I don't like the fixed ratio of the core mining. I think that's uh, that's a major oversight. It should uh, you should be able to skew the ratio towards what you're lacking at some sort of cost, because if you don't consume at that ratio, you end up getting a whole lot of shit you don't want. And you got to like, what do you do with it? Like, just turn to landfill. So you got to create storage containers of landfill and dump it. It seems a bit of a silly uh, solution. Um, I find the progress curve is a bit ridiculous in SC by itself. It's uh, artificially hard, I guess. Um, it's like these things here. These just make it so I can put a smaller footprint base. They don't actually increase my um, production or anything. There's no extra modules. But they produce four times faster than, than an individual module, which means I don't have to grind out as many high prod modules and as many high speed modules. Um, whereas in like a normal vanilla game you have to like put a whole row of these to get the same output and then the speed and production will be lower because um, it's a bigger area, bigger surface area so you could have spend more UPS uh, to get the same output and I'm like well my UPS is basically dead as it is I don't, I don't know how, how people can do like a massive mega base uh, later on without getting like some optimizations which EC doesn't have but yes my goal is currently to switch my whole production to core fragments right now so I've already finished the game but I'm just like trying out the core fragments properly I never actually relied on them I got through most of the game with just these and grinded out and it took 342 hours to get the spaceship victory um, and that was fine I mean, I just, I just, you just get so much mining. All right, I'm gonna test test run this thing. So I'm gonna do a save here. I'm gonna do uh, bosses beware. Trains and belts is gonna improve UPS. Yeah, see, I don't know about the belts thing. I understand trains does, but belts is worse than UPS. But um. I have looked into UPS, uh, into uh, LTN, but uh, hey, what? Why can't I target Osses? Oh no, I'm, at, I'm not in the wrong place. Just, uh, I thought it was there, but I actually hit the wrong. That's fine, we'll get there soon. No, I haven't actually tried the LTN myself. Um, I've said it's pretty good for the train network though, the shuttling of resources around. So when I was playing this, my base used to be all the way out here, all that, right? That was my base. And uh, my UPS was down at like 15 to 20. And I do want to get rid of all this from my view. I might, I'm, I'm pondering um, making the biters passive of my home planet and then trimming the planet down to that size. Um, because the butters don't actually provide any gameplay, they just slow my game down, so... I don't have more than 500 robots working. Dang, Commander Fear, that's, that must be pretty optimal. But yeah, I can understand um, biters uh, in the first, say, 100 hours, but I guess it gets a bit silly after a while. Yeah, my computer's uh, from 2012, this is the CPU. It's an i5-3470, and uh, I've got 16 gigs of RAM. So, I've actually, funny enough, I was actually not bottled on the CPU, I was bottled on the RAM. My RAM's running at uh, all 100% usage right now. Yeah, 
get 45 UPS. That's pretty good. So I would get about I get about I get about 42 UPS when I'm not running my uh, OBS for streaming because I've only got one PC, so I'm losing uh, CPU. Currently 18% CPU to OBS. So that's that's reducing my UPS a bit as well. But yeah, when I'm locally playing, I do a bit of offline playing sometimes just to deconstruct stuff. I get about 42. But it was running in the 20s for a long time. Being pretty uh, terrible. I um, I spent a long time just deconstructing, uh, limiting my production. So I've dropped me these items down. I don't know, remember Command of Fear. I used to have like 1.5 million of uh, this biomatter and like 2 million of uh, iron ore and copper ore and stuff. And just the sheer quantity of items. Um, massively uh, decreases things, but yeah, one point one point four terawatts. That's awesome. I don't know how you built so much, eh? I mean, I've got uh, I think it's one hundred and ten gigawatts at Catalyst, and that's that's more than enough. But I I do have like uh, I mean eight of these, so that's half a terawatt so yeah this is that, that runs all right I do need to uh, I was gonna do a, I was gonna design a spaceship actually to redo my logic here so this is the, supposed to be the uh, star probe data you see so this, this is supposed to send star probe data but it's actually no spaceship capsule no cargo rocket section to here um, I kind of banged it up. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I need to fix that up. Yeah, I got a tower mega base and now it's an orbit, it's a mess, robot base. Yeah, I'm, I'm more robot based than an Alvis orbit. I couldn't deal with having a fragmented separate base. I just like junked it all together. I mean, that's the solar panels. This is shipyards for cores. This is shipyards for Naquitite. This is victory ships. This is someone else's ship from victory ship. This is my mining spaceship. Another victory ship. Other people's ships. This is computer ship. Um. This is my this is my my newest ship. This is the uh, I call it the SS Tortilla. This is a victory ship. So this goes about 260 speed, quite easy. And uh, seems to. Seems to be able to uh, attain that's the 10 minute victory lap. It, it ran out of power on the way back last time, so um, I think I, I left it too long afterwards flying. That this this 10,000 temperature got down to 5200 5, before I realized, and I was like, oh, I better send it home. Yeah, so that, when I go to like entity time usage. Not in uh, time usage. Um, game update is the biggest one here. So you see, circuit network 1.5, entity update 13. So, whatever entity update means, um, there's a lot. Um, I used to have uh, AI vehicles and I uninstalled it, the automation. Um, that was using like four constantly and I wasn't even doing anything with it, so getting rid of that was a big thing. We've got script date update here, which is basically the SpaceX mod. Um I don't know what this flip on is though. What is that? That's a huge cost for me. Whatever flip on means. Okay, so I just basically craft too much shit. Which is fair enough. So electric network here is at four, so that's on my energy beaming, I suspect. That is costing a bit. But what's flip on do? What's that do? Like what what do I gain by having that on or off?
Anyway, I'll show you the victory ships before I launch this thing. So, my first victory ship was this one. This was before they patched it. So this is a this is a, the ugly like it's been punched and been kicked to the side. And it's carrying like a trailer of engines. Now this is before they patched engines and then before they added in asteroids that um, have a three degree angle. So this this used to rely on the shields hitting it straight here. So no asteroid can go straight down. And so they're all safe. And uh, it used to run on. Used, this used to need ten gigawatts to run. And it had uh, plenty of power. So that worked out for my first victory ship. I did that like back in uh, December, I think. Um, and then I I redid it uh, for another run and I made it a bit tidier. So this is basically again the same idea as carrying an engine, uh, a trailer worth of engines, and that's my power generation. Now that was at sixty second as well. They changed the logic since then um i gave it a test run on the 600 seconds and i got about three i got about five minutes in before uh something happened i don't know i think i think because i didn't back then i didn't have a shield here i think a, i think a rock drifted through the gap here and hit the side so i've added a shield there i've probably won the side as well but um yeah so that didn't actually get the new victory but then i test ran this one and uh, that worked straight away. It basically worked straight away. As soon as I put the second layer of... Every second one I added a second layer of shield here. That seemed to block out enough. Um, and this is a computer addicts uh, engine design. So the idea is here, every engine here gets 100%. And there's 30, 36 of them. So... It worked out quite well. Um, so I originally laid down all the tiles. Put the engines in like this. I was just, just j jigging them up, and then it's a perfect straight line on the shields here. And then I hollowed out the rest of it afterwards. Um, this this will this this ship can fly anywhere. Um, can go anywhere I want. So it's not just my star system. Just means I have to be back home before I um, get past my curfew, which means before it runs out of uh, the energy. But the energy lasts quite a long time. I mean, you get over ten minutes of victory, um, but it runs quite well. I mean. Uh, Oh yeah, I haven't got the logic on that store. And why is it storing that stuff? Oh my god, it's so dumb. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's really dumb. But yeah, the the this, the temperature here it goes down quite slowly. So it looks like two, one or two degrees a second. So you can do the math on that. We've got five thousand degrees. Divide that by uh, say two. There's 2,500 seconds, right? And divide that by 60. Uh, what's that? 2,500 divided by 60. It's 41 minutes, in theory. Um, yes, yeah, so that should run for 41 minutes. So that's that's that that's the energy drop. Plus all these um, all these steam turbines here are 5,000 C steam stored up to use as well. I managed to limp home last time by um, docking with it and adding uh, solar panels to where the shields were. But yeah, it, it just... I had fun designing this one. This is uh, looks way nicer than my other ships. Most of my ships look really bad. Um, I designed... Where are they all? Where... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is all my iterations of spaceships here. So this is my first ship here. This is the, this is the uh, Cuckoo version 1. Um, and like, what is that? 300,000 rocket fuel? And the idea of this was to uh, go to new uh, planets to help me uh, set up infrastructure. 
So I used to build like whole bases on each planet. Um, it was all manual though, like I just, there was no automation, it was just me on board. And uh, eventually got to my like, this design which was the, uh, what's this one called? This, uh, I call it the Tron I guess. And I so got through to try and get more, um, you can see these question marks, they, they, they changed the uh, shields, they separated out, this is a 0.4 EC version, that's 0.5 does the shields are different, they made a separate mod, the blueprint's not, I made a shield, this one here's a train version, I was playing around a bit, having trains go on board the spaceship and then leave, that was quite fun. But it's quite heavy because of the extra um, space for the trains. Um, and I made this hauler once with the nuclear engine. And I was like, didn't it, I? I put trains on it as well, but I was like, didn't really use it. And then I designed like a tiny. Uh, I think that was a three hundred or four hundred size ship, just for with a nuclear reactor. This is one turbine, but this is the one. Uh, a one turbine's enough for 10 megawatts, so that was better than like five isothermic uh, power generators. Um, and then I started designing this my Naquatite hauler. So it used to have uh, seven engines to haul my Naquatite, and it had logic that I got from Computer Addict on automation. And I just went for a lot of design versions of this. Then I made this big giant beastie one, which is uh, I was just as, just seeing how much how big a ship I can build with my four thousand ship size, and that turned into a nuclear nequatite hauler. Um, now this is when I started trying to do a nexus ship for this tech cards, and then I I started working towards the victory ship. So this is one early version of this victory ship. But the engines of that actually look better. In the end result, but uh, it wasn't an optimal design, so it didn't work out. So this is the better version of it, which has also got the shields missing at the top because that was uh, been changed since. And then I made my mining spaceship. This the, this 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 monstrosity. This is supposed to. Uh, I was supposed. To, it was like a hatch with a. The fuel jumping cost was zero, so you can like go inside a star system point A to point B without leaving the star system, yeah, the location. And so you can jump a long way to a mining site and mine it and then jump back. So I designed that for that. Um, actually, where is that now? That was, uh, I think it was Stardust. See, this, this Nagotype mine here. The mine spaceship jumps around, so the power doesn't go unless my spaceship's here. The, this infrastructure is the only infrastructure there is. I mean, I got stuff back here, but I don't use it. So the whole idea of the mine spaceship is I don't need to be there. But anyway, we're actually uh, an asteroid belt, so we should be able to target Ossus now. So let's try this out. We can. How about that? So we, we can actually shoot at Ossus. Um, I might do a save, because this could be fun. Also beware, yep, yep. Let's see what happens when we uh, wipe out the biters. Should be fun. Alright. Bombs away. Fire it at my, my own thing. Can I watch it? Boom! Oh, it almost destroyed it itself! Look at that, it's got 27 hit points left. And that thing didn't get hurt at all. That rate of construction pile on, man. These biters should be uh, trying to kill me, but they're getting wiped out. Oh my god, they get wiped out way too fast. You can see on the map, like they're just evaporating. 
They're not going to destroy the structures. I don't have to land. That's fine. It's, it's safe to land. I mean, there's not much. Uh, hopefully, the fighters is there. They're going to. Are these guys even hurt? He's got no hit points lost. Well, the nests are gone though. So when they first did this, I used to have like clouds of swirling, swirling poison, and my computer just ground to a halt. And uh, that was awful. Now it seems like it's just uh, spiders aren't dying, which is kind of dumb. The nests are gone though. But when do they start dying? Like, when do these guys start popping? Oh, hey buddy, what's happening? You gonna pop? I mean, I wanna go inside this temple again, have a look. Might have forgot to get the uh, insides. What's up buddy? Nothing? Alright, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Ossus. And uh... We're gonna go land. So it does wipe them all, does it? I forgot to say, this is actually, uh, as far as spaceships go, it's not that big. Um, that's 1400 spaceship floors. Not too bad. Not too bad. I was probably doing a, uh, this, this is my other design I was probably doing. Um, I'm not sure I'll do that or not. I don't need the second reactor, but just for the, uh, just for the shape. This is kind of optimal though. You can do quite a few things with this. You can put tr a train line in the middle. You can put obviously a, this. I can even do, uh, those, the science things. I can do a science version. If I get, if I get another, Bit more reactor power, I guess. I might need. I think I need two gigawatts. The Nexus. It needs. Uh, energy use is proportional to speed. Ah, oh, so I actually don't know what it is. Anyway, I should go check out my spaceship, the uh, the victory one. I'm not sure where it is. Left a star system? I must have. Yeah. Can't remember what it's called. Is it 2, gig two gigawatts? I thought it was, but... The Underlord. Man, what's it called? I don't even remember. Do I even give it a priority? Oh, it's the hammer here, that's right. So, it's got to, uh... Where is it at? It's at Finestra, and it's at 9200 temperature. So I've used, uh, 700, 725 degrees of temperature to fly there. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, we're not outputting. That was dumb. I was supposed to be, uh, collecting some cards. That was a little bit. Yeah, so the whole reason I like the energy beam receiver on the spaceship is, um, just so you don't need the antimatter fuel. I mean, it's only saving like one, maybe what, one row of tiles, because you just need an inserter and an outputter. But you could do that on four four reactors, right? So you'd need like four antimatter reactors. So that might be quite a few tiles, I guess, to have the input and output. 
But this ship itself is uh, 4387 size. Um, there's one thing I learned about this today, or well, two days ago, is that you can actually receive for the A signal uh, and you hook it up to your row report. So you can tell it to uh, you know, input robots into the row report when you're not at Nalvis and take them out when you're at Nalvis. So that means that this thing's always empty, unless you're flying. Because uh, always, all my spaceships are badly designed and the robots, this thing's always full of robots uh, when, it, when it shouldn't be. And so they won't go and do their you know, logistics work or, or construction work when they need to. Because uh, quite a lot of my haulers, it's mostly logistics robots, so they need to have like a lot of logistics robots ready to go. Whereas if I hit something in space, I do need 50 uh, construction robots available, otherwise uh, it won't repair my ship. Um, the only automation for this is that this ship docks in the same location. So, say I had this going from point A to B, uh, at both ends I'd have to have some energy beam going to where it lands. So, uh, on now this there's already uh, energy beams, beam stuff going to where it docks basically. So as soon as it docks it starts getting power again. Um, but you can't read, there's no way to read the uh, power currently, which is annoying. Um, I don't know how to read the temperature or the power. The only thing you can read is the steam, I'm guessing. The steam got below a certain amount, or the water got to a certain number or something. You have to, like, um, like, obfuscate it or, you know, just read and infer it. Because, uh, basically, the energy beam is going to here right now. And that's based on these, uh, beamers over here. So these ones... Go to Navis Orbit, there's no beam. But as soon as the ship lands, they'll beam and power will go to the spaceship. So you can set these up at wherever your spaceship's going. Um, so currently I could I've I've actually set up uh, infrastructure everywhere, so every single star in my game has got an energy beam receiver. A sender, I mean. It's got one of these. So I can send my ship to any star system right now and I'll get maximum power from one of these but you can send it anywhere anyway but it's just, it's just diluted so if this beams out of the star system it's thing it's 10 times less powered sent but if it's inside the same star system it's 70% it's of it so uh, most you get like most of this power in the star system but you won't get much going to other star systems so I'm going to go jump down on the ground. This should be fun. The game's like frozen right now. Ah, oh, we've ran out of... Okay, that's fine. This is number four, so... Um, all of my glaives turned off because uh, we had nothing left on uh, Nalvis. Oh my god, I don't have enough inventory space. That's typical. That's fine, we'll just go make a chest. And do I have solar panels? I used to carry solar panels around. Do I not have a solar panel? I do. Okay, that's alright. I just want to have... Uh, Where's the road port? Yeah, that'll help it. Oh, they look cool. They look, look at these crushed uh, emulators with their red and yellow wires. I haven't seen them before. I think there's almost never seen them destroyed. Have a look inside. Uh, Oh, we got the thing to claim still. Oh, we left a a long pipe. <laughs> I left a, I left trash behind. Ah, oh, that's great. I I I I I trick myself. All right, we can clear the surface though, which is the whole point of coming here. So that's that's a uh, victory.
Um, I'll go drop drop the ship down. I think it's all gone. Yeah, so the energy beam is, uh, I mean, you could just do an anti-matter reactor ship. I mean, that's what I did uh, for most of my ships, the faster ones. Um, but all the haulers, just an anti-matter uh, engines and then nuclear power. This, this is 60 megawatts and that's enough to supply one shield and all those lasers. And this guy's about 190, 180 speed. And that's plenty for uh, hauling. And this is not even a smart hauler. This only hauls A to B. So there's no like uh, intermediary stop. And it's quite heavy. It's 1430 container stress. So. Oh man, all my Navis ones are switching off. It sucks. Oh, we can't pick stuff up, can we? What can we dump? I'm full. Cool. Alright, let's go. Make sure we got everything. Oh, my game's kind of a bit of a hernia with these, uh, energy beams that fail. So we should be able to go to my spaceship. I'm at the Rosie of fame of the TV show. Now I did not choose that name, I just uh, RNG'd it, so I don't mind, I'll just hop on board. Uh, we'll just drop it. Yeah. Take it on board the ship, mate. Oof. Having some hernia. Right. Need some storage chests. What are they doing? In the ship. Why aren't they puzzling? What are they doing? Why are they not? Oh, they tried to put on me, that's why. That's dumb. Alright, let's go put some stuff away. Um. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's launch. I think there's. Oh, what are these robots doing here? Not leaving them behind, you know. No, no one stays behind. Otherwise, we can't delete the surface. So, um, I think that's everything. All right, let's launch. Should we delete the surface now? So yeah, this, this has been nice rocket exploring. That was quite fun, but it's left behind all these uh, remnants that was UPS. So. It wasn't my task to do this at some point. It was great. I mean, I don't mind just keeping this uh, star orbit. Oh, there's another one. We've got Demios here as well. Let's go to Demios. But what about the Astro Belt? No, okay. Demios has got. Uh, a shit ton of biters too. So. Yeah, it's a lot of biters. I can probably just do it from here, right? So I can just, uh... Then we'll start going to Demios. Get random leg spikes. So, uh, Cinematur, have you done uh, much uh, space logic? There's some really cool things you can do. 
Um, I got this from Live Action Pixel. Um, one version. The other one I got from uh, Computer Addict. So the Computer Addict one I did for all my um, haulers. Where's, where's uh, Naquitite haulers? Oh, that's slow. The Naquitite haulers are kind of pretty, pretty straightforward um, once you know what's going on. Basically, uh, it sends a signal where it wants to uh, go to and a launch signal and then it's just going to pass through all the checks and uh, if it say if, if this is true it passes everything through right so and then if this is true it passes everything through and then if it's this is true it passes everything through and then it just sends a signal right so if it passes those three conditions launch the ship and the same goes for the other way and then this separate logic here is uh, for docking so it reads uh, the A the distance signal and the console number to give docking clamp number and to give distance of docking so when it's basically not moving and it, it like it's just stationary it will dock I find uh, this will have it uh, in error jump because it doesn't have a a signal check so if I added an extra a signal to both of these but using the red star would then probably work 100% of the time but currently it jumps back and forth two or three times before it figures out oh wait I shouldn't jump anymore um but yeah that, that the necrotite haulers do a good job I don't know why this is not even going anywhere though it's that it's stuck for some reason why are they both stuck here why are they not going it's got launch as a thing but why isn't it launching Hey. What? See, we got the output signal was launch. I don't know why this is not launching. It's got the fuel. That's that. I'm gonna set it too high. This one. I'm even reading that signal. What? Where'd that signal go? It's lost the, the wire. The wire gets to here, but it doesn't go to here. So it's lo literally, it's lost the signal. I have not touched the ship. But it doesn't have the signal anymore. This is supposed to, uh, this green wire is supposed to go up to here. And that goes and now it'll work. That's oh, 199k now, it's too much, but um. Now oh, I gotta fire that ship. I gotta fix it before I leave it be. I've, I've noticed though, though some, some things disappear in my save game, so I'm wondering about some memory problems that, uh, because I'm using all my memory all the time. Even there's a few bytes that are wrong, it just doesn't save it. This got 190k because I think it's going to green wire twice. Oh wait, it's getting the green from that. It goes through that. Oh, I see. Um, I can just plug it into there then. No. Oh, it's still doubling up. Can't do green wire. That's so weird that it's changed. This used to work. Um, I could do red wire version now. Should work now. And there's hook in, the, hook in the back of that with the red wire. That's right. Bit of a mess. 
Anyway, it should go and do its thing. Um, I'm gonna launch this at, uh, is it Demios? Uh, it is... Oh, my game's having a massive, uh, UPS... Like, I think it's the biters. It's doing some calculation for biters. And it's just... My computer's just dying when it does that. Demios. Uh, yeah, let's go target them. Bombs away! I like how you can watch it. Boom. Man, those worms die real quick. So where the worms of 5,000 hit points instantly die, but then these these uh, behemoths of 3,500, they don't die. They're just like, just, they're just chill. I don't get it. I'm so glad I got a plague spaceship though, it's pretty awesome. Oh, he moves because I was doing this thing. And I decided that was dumb. I was reading, um, I was trying to put the logic outside the ship, and I realized actually you want everything on the ship in case things go wrong. But this one's like going, oh, this is actually just not emptying out. What's happened here? Hey, why is that built out of sync? What the shit? <laughs> I've got a one tile difference on the well, I don't know how, how long has that been like that for? How's it even been docking like that? <laughs> this is reading the right signal. So this has got a uh, green wire. Green wire here is going... Oh, it goes to clamp. Ah, uh, okay. And that gets the clamp data. Okay. We don't need the clamp though, but that's nice to pass the information on. I think that I think this at 100k was too high. And 98,000 is a bit better. We made some improvements. I mean, these, these ones here, the big ones, um, they seem to be okay. This this got too much resource. It takes ages to uh, unload. So it's sitting around. My right, victory ship should be back home though. How's the hammerhead? Yeah, it's back home getting power again. This is at 10,000 again, so. Powered up. The best thing about the energy beam is uh, no antimatter, it's just so much better. There's no actual resource cost. It's just, a, it's just uh, the initial deployment resource cost, and then it's infinite. There's no maintenance, no nothing. It's just. Uh, that's so good. I mean, if, if I had my way, I'd probably turn all my spaceships into energy beam receiver ships. And just have one energy beam receiver per ship. So no nuclear reactors, no antimatter reactors, uh, no solar panels on ships, no isothermic, just energy beam receiver. It's a quite big item though. I'd like a smaller version. It is like four reactors in size, so it's a lot of um, real estate have any spaceship and then you have, then you have to have like one of these and one of those and then two of them and then one of these are two of those so you need like all that on one little ship it's a bit much maybe but for a meme size ship it's uh it could be feasible like doing like 2000 size ships um that'd work out i think Hmm. Anyway, we've got, uh, we're gonna jump down my capsule. Where's my capsule? I put my capsules away. Let's go down the ground. Where are we at? Now 58. Hmm.
Oh my god, we got radiation in there. Alright, I'm gonna do some chess last time. Uh the game's frozen again. What was that about? I'm dying. So you're dying. That's fine. Uh, we don't want all this stuff. I wish you didn't give it to me. I could turn my report off, but um, that's fine. Let's, let's try and minimize the space this takes up before I land my ship. And I can land my ship around me. And that'll be easier, I think. I've got to figure out this UPS though. I don't know whether it's the plague or whether it's my home planet um, bugging out. But after seeing what happened to uh, Head Slayer's game, where they disabled the home biters, the UPS. I mean, FPS went from like you know, atrocious to 60, so it was 100% the biters, and I might just, just remove the biters from my home system. Because they're they are not a threat, they're just a nuisance. I don't understand if they're a threat. So many barrels, oh my god. I guess I did see a lot of rocket fuel here to get off this planet. It's kind of uh tedious you know I thought we would have done by now these I'm gonna go 3,000 in there okay don't deconstruct that thanks this is too much I didn't realize it's 3,000 I was like yeah there'd be like a hundred barrels that'd be fine no there's 3,000 I can't even, even claim the, the temple. Oh. Now that seems hacks. So I think everything there recharged instantly by going in between services. Which is a bit strange. Should not be a thing. Um. I'll keep that one. Alright, let's uh, drop my ship down. I'll pick this up and leave. The Rosie from... Oh, it's having nasty spikes. I don't know what it is. Alright, let's dock. Can't dock? Why not? Ah, oh, man. Gotta hit it. Try again. Go on top of stuff. It's fine. Don't go up to me, man. I don't want to. Give it to me. Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Oh, they got most of it. Got most of it. We can always nuke this planet. Oh, there's a dead biter. We can, we can teabag him. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Oh, I got these bloody robots to pick up. Oh my god. So dumb. You get some nasty spikes since the robots bugged out on my home planet. So I think that what's happening is the biters are uh, like recolonizing or something. They're doing logics. Can't quite figure it out. Now, what are these guys? Are they gonna. I can't pick them up.
I think isn't somewhere to charge, right? Do I give him the fast charger? Who's that? That one. I oh, know they can't charge in that one, can they? Get like a hundred robots each time. Not really. Definitely works like that. Okay, maybe that'll get the robots back. I'm a bit disappointed on these robots. This one in Alvis as well, like why is it uh why is it spiking on me so much? What's it doing? I know these spiders here still, like why is it lying to me? Oh, look. I'm gonna find a biter. Yeah look, biters! Why did it stop? It stopped again, like this is so dumb, like why do I have to why do I have to keep finding biters on my home planet? That the game does not want to find and wipe out. I do have to discover the whole planet myself. I could just I could just play Rocket it. I don't have any problem with having life support all the time. I'd rather not though. I'd rather just make them friendly, so I might do that command. Next to my analysis, because these guys just been idiots, like why are they not wiping them out? Why does it think there's no biters? Like if I go there, it's biters too. Well, Cinemative, um, I had them on auto target, so the energy beam should wipe out the biters that are on the planet, right? Until there's no biters. That's the whole point of it. They're supposed to just auto kill. But for some reason, they can't. They don't just stop after a while because I think there's no more biters left. But I'm like, well, there is biters left. You just isn't bothered to find them. Well, they find most of them, but then they. They, they get bugged out or something, they can't figure out there's more. I don't understand the logic, but just doing that should like mean that those energy beams work again. So I go now this orbit and go to my um these should be autoglave. So that will be enough to get them going again. I only do three this time, I can't bother doing all of them. I used to have like 30 of them at once. But I'm not doing that again. Are they, are they finished? I think they're done. That took a long, lot of work. Good work. What about the cargo, the ship? How, how heavy is it now? Oh, if that's a lot of launching fuel. That's a heap of fuel. Holy moly. 1449. It's only um, 1218 container stress. I guess because it's empty? What? Why are no tiles connected? Oh yeah, I've got a hole here, no. Try again. 18 six, six, yes, yeah, so that's counting all these stupid uh, storage chests is my mess. All the empty ones though, I shouldn't, I shouldn't bother with. That's alright. Let's launch. I should drop the uh, launch cost down. It's 22.19. Whoa. Now it's 1791. So just having a storage chest down, empty ones, was an extra 500 gigajoules of fuel. So maybe my um, 
Maybe my uh, cargo ones that I'm moving around with partial fuel. My partial cargo being a bit taxing on my uh, fuel. Just think about that. I'm glad I used this though. This is this is quite a cool uh, little discovery. I didn't realize you put weapon delivery cannon on uh, on the spaceship. So I'm gonna go back to Nistra. I think this planet is done. So we can just delete that. Uh, gone. Cool. That star system is now cleansed. Uh, we've got a lot of other ones we've been to though, uh, but I can't remember them all. I can just look at the list. I think because I've been playing this game so long, they got a bit funky. This star system looks kind of kind of safe. I mean, these uh, temples here, right? Um, I don't know if I got all the all the goodies. That uh, that's fine. I've got a quick break soon. You know, I'll just uh, figure out what you want to work on. I want you to work on uh, astro si astro science my star system. I got a bit distracted by this uh, plague rocket business. It's, be it's obviously better though. This is this is more fun. Uh, remote like flying in, kill the biters. I mean, my sniper's got huge range. We've still got enough for, um... Well, we've got enough for 10 more uh, plague planets. I just want to plague the planets that, uh... My... Items are at, so... I should go through this list and remove all the ones I don't want to be. That aren't my home system. No, Necrophos here, right? This is definitely like, look at this, look at this planet. This is my, I like this one because I left a, a hollow world. Hollow world. It looks like it's Hello world. I know where, where'd the H go? I mean, I left this with, uh, this is great fun. I mean, it's just, 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 just biters, of course. I mean, it wasn't all biters when I came here. Now, I tried destroying this stuff with uh, energy beams and stuff, but it hasn't worked out. Probably could destroy this one. There's only um, a pollen substation in this, so I just energy beam that. I can probably delete that surface without going there. I kind of liked it though, because it's got the hollow world. But now it's energy beam it. So what's that? That's um, basilis. How's the Aussies where the ancient hello went? Hello! Oh, that's more British. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. 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 G'day, mate. Hello. Hi, mate. Hello. I'm like a parrot, eh? Hello. 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 Who's best list? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, that's Necrophos. Okay, we, we can use the Basilis uh, beam. Just sort that out. So, we're going to go to Necro. What? Can't see Necrophos. N E S R N E C H. I was spelling it wrong. Learn to spell, man. N E C H. That's how you spell necro. So not how you spell necro, but it is in the game. All right, let's go and zap this right there. Glaive. Come on. The ladder, Necrophos. 
I mean, I do want. To, I did want to go around to all the uh, temples and collect all the things because I didn't do it originally. I mean, I went inside them all. I must have collected most of them. I know there's a couple I didn't though. I think I did enough inventory space, which didn't bother. I can't remember. Anyway, we can wipe that surface now. So, delete. Cool. So you're gonna trim it down to uh, not being there. Next on the list. I think this must be a numbered, a numbered one. Emichania, this one, yeah. Look at this one. This is a monster. I think I can wipe that out. I think that's uh, quite quite feasible. With an energy beam, they've kind of done most of the work for me. Um, yeah, that's Oriole. That's Emicharia. Emicharia. There we go, that should uh, destroy that. What else we got? We got uh, Anathema. Oh, that's, uh, that's got a uh, got a radar construction pile on, so we can't do that one. Yeah, so that's Arione. Um This is a big star system, actually. So many resources. Like, it's this crazy amount of resources in these different planets. So I think they're going to add some more ruins and other things. Oh, we've got labors that are... I actually wanted to recolonize that. This is, um, spoiler. Um, but the Bidens have colonized it, which is kind of dumb. So I'm still here. I can still rocket land in here and plague it. But it is a, a vitamin planet, so I didn't want to plague it, but I guess I could, because, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just plague this planet. I'll just go here, so it's Irione, so when I get back to get some rocket fuel, I'll just come here and plague it, because, um, I kind of want to leave my footprint here. I just wanted to, I just like the ruins. I thought they looked cool. I don't really want to, I don't really care about the, uh, Bitchman Lange. Um, what else we got? There you go, that's the other one, the Eolus. Also, the Mange is the secondary. Well, there's not too many more left, that might be it. I think I might, I might have got rid of the most of them. These were the ones I were, was on, but they, um... I take the minus one because I'd, uh... I'd left them. Why has I got these, like, part... See, how, how do I delete that? That's, that's strange. There's also this one, it's not deleted. Now it is. What the hell? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a prune on my home planet and uh, test it out on the UPS offline. I think what's this here? Is this is like weird uh, regening that shouldn't be happening. I don't get it. So many planets, though. 
snack, crackle, and pop. Green leaf, bullion. Oh, this one. Green leaf. Bullion. Oh, it looks like we're back. I think we're in, uh, are we in Navis or are we in, uh, in Estra? I don't remember. I probably should add, uh, a finished to trigger on my ship so I don't have to manually select it. And an out of this trigger as well. It might be a good idea. Damn, there's a lot of limits. Oh, what's this one? So I hope to get I hope to get back to like over 45 FPS UPS once I clear up uh, my items and the number of planets I have lots of stuff on. So I guess re rely on core mining. I should be able to shrink it quite well. And I keep my game fresh for any content changes. It's pretty weird like keeping a game going after you finished. But as I'm still learning though, so it's kind of good. If I stopped learning, I'd probably be uh, losing interest. Still learning um, a lot of logic, a lot of the combinated logic, uh, and then design, design stuff. So I'm still gonna figure out a new uh, spaceship to replace my. Astro science and solar science and interstellar science. I think iron drive is what you're supposed to do, but, but when I was playing that was not part of the game. So I never had that step. I just went from rocket. I went from uh, rocket fuel to antimatter after a long period of using rockets. So most of my empire was all rockets because that's all I had. I wasn't really, didn't see that phase would do the um, ships because they went so slow. Rockets just go straight away with a bit of resource cost. Alright, must be almost done. Jeez, it's only. Back a little faster though. So the UPS is uh, it's quite atrocious in this in this menu. You never know where you haven't been. Like there's no delete all services button. Like all places you don't belong. That'd be that'd be saving me a lot of time. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, do this again, for instance. This is a one-off. Clean it all out. And then we, uh... We have a little bit less file size. And then go back to plague rocketing. Iriani, I think. I think I'm going. Just need to pick up some fuel. Actually, there's too many places. I'm down to a zo Zomble. Oh, what filter is it on? Ah, oh, it's on where I've been. Filter. Okay, we're gonna stop, that's enough. Uh, okay, we're at Finestra, so we need to go nervous. Yeah, so I gotta. I gotta uh, ah, yes, yeah, so there's one logic I figured out. Is uh, you do a chest, you do uh, an output. To a purple chest, but the wire between them is based on where you are. So I really want to use this more. This is the this is just so clever, but it's so stupid. So this should uh, do its thing. We'll just take. 
I don't want barrels. They can do no barrels on me. Empty barrels? Is that part of my thing? What exists? Oh shit, I don't want barrels. Yeah, that was zero. Whatever, man, we don't want barrels. Anyway, so you just do that for every one. You can probably, just, you can probably just round uh, one purple chest with, with five of these, right? The one in each direction. And green wire up between. We can do this mid flyer. It's gonna give it to me, uh, isn't it? Of course it is. I worked on that one. Robots are a bit stuck though. I think the shields and the ship work out well. We've got basically uh, what, 5, 7, 9, maybe like 12 lasers. Most of shields. Seems to run pretty good though. I couldn't figure out the uh, streamline bonus on my uh, new ship. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Um, BRB.